Eye Stent Surgery for Glaucoma by Mahesh Ramchandani In some situations, even trabeculectomy may not be the best operation for glaucoma. This may be, for example, if patients are too frail or the characteristics of the eye make such surgery too risky. Cataract surgery affords an excellent opportunity to control the intraocular pressure. This may be in combination with laser procedures, such as cyclophotocoagulation, or drainage procedures. In patients with glaucoma and cataract, the eye stent may be a favourable option. This tiny device, only 3mm in size, bypasses the trabecular meshwork, the site of maximum resistance of most types of open angle glaucoma. The device allows fluid inside the eye to get past a blocked drainage apparatus. At the end of routine cataract surgery, the eye is prepared by constricting the pupil. The same incision is used to insert the eye stent as is used for the cataract operation. The stent is L-shaped. The long tube inserts into Schlem's canal and the short snorkel end projects into the anterior chamber, the front part of the eye. In practice, inserting the stent in the right place demands more expertise than the earlier animation suggests. This is critical to the success of the device. Here we see the short end of the eye stent projecting into the front part of the eye. Once inserted, no other sutures or manipulation are required. In summary, the eye stent is a safe, low-risk, effective glaucoma treatment in select patients not suited to trabeculectomy surgery. The stent overcomes the main site of obstruction in glaucoma, the trabecular meshwork. It's suitable for patients with a combination of cataract and glaucoma, and the success depends on the precise placement and hence surgical skill and an appropriate patient. So far we've had encouraging results with the eye stent used to treat suitable patients with glaucoma and cataract.